Oh, damage during shipping? Everybody, Silver Picker here, and man, do I have a crazy video for you today! And it all centers around this big boy. This package I just received in the mail is 12 and a half pounds, 5.8 kilos, chock full of silver and even some gold coins. That's right, somebody that I bought from in the past, and you can actually see the video over here. I bought a bunch of gold coins from this guy in the past. He emailed me and said that he wanted to sell out of most of his gold and silver, and he would send it to me, and I would buy it from him. And that is exactly what I did. This massive box is probably one of the biggest silver purchases I've made in a long time, and I am so excited to crack into it. Now, you're probably wondering what this is. Why is it in a bag? That's the bad news, and that's the scary news. This box was shipped, and it was damaged during shipping. Because it was so heavy, the box ripped. So the Postal Service put it in this big, thick bag, hoping to protect the contents. Now, when it arrived like this, I was terrified, because I figured that we probably lost some serious gold and silver. Well, thankfully, the guy who sent it to me weighed it before, and it was 5.8 kilos. I weighed it when I got here, and it is still 5.8 kilos. So I believe that nothing has been lost. But what we're going to do is we are going to crack into this today and see the incredible goodies that I got in here. It may end up taking two videos because 12 and a half freaking pounds of silver it takes a long time to go through. But I am too excited. Let's crack into it and see what we got. Now, I really want to crack into those coins, but before we do, I need to give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, DataCamp. DataCamp is an incredible online learning platform with courses on all things data. They have simple courses like Excel 101 all the way up to advanced courses on machine learning, Python, R, all that kind of stuff, and it is really awesome. All the courses are self-paced, so you can take them at your own leisure, and they're all online, so you don't need to download any software or anything like that. You can take them from anywhere. And on top of that, you can literally take the first class of any course totally free. So there's literally no need to commit to anything before you're sure you're interested in the course. And best of all, subscriptions start at just $12 a month. I got a fancy MBA from a top-rated business school, and it cost me $5,000 per month. So yeah, I would say that DataCamp is an incredibly good deal. Now, I personally am new to data science, so I'm going to be starting with the Data Science for Everyone course, which is only four hours long, and it's a great way to dip your toes into data science. I'm actually hoping to continue my studies and eventually apply it to our own hobby, where I can find more efficient ways to do coin roll hunting. If you're interested in joining me in that endeavor or just brushing up on some data skills, maybe getting a new job for after all this craziness that's going on right now, well, definitely check out my link below. Sign up for Data Camp. You will not regret it. Now, let us finally crack into these amazing coins. All right, this thing is too big for the table, so we are doing this on the floor today. Back to my original roots. Watch my old videos, you'll see everything was done on the floor. All right, I'm doing surgery over here. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay. All right, even the letter is still here. Oh man, this is good, this is good. It does not look like anything was lost. All right. All right, we can breathe a little easier. We can breathe a little easier. So while I open up the package, why don't we crack into the letter and see what this sender wrote. All right. He's a really nice guy and uh, he hit some hard times and wanted to sell out and he knows that I'm not going to rip him off. I'm gonna give him a good deal. Of course, I'm gonna profit on it, but I'm not gonna be like one of those you know, pawn shop crooks or anything. And let's see what he has to say. All right. Hi, Max. I hope this package reaches you in good condition. I also hope that the packaging isn't overkill. It wasn't. In the video with the gold coins, you said you enjoyed opening packs and discovering something for the first time. I hope you find that same magic with this package. As I told you in my email that I inherited all these coins from my father. Since I've been unable to work for the past two years, I have to let go of some of this collection. Enjoy the treasures enclosed, give them a home to someone that will appreciate them more than I can. Best wishes, Michael. Michael, I can guarantee you that these will go to good homes. 
Some of the stuff will stay in my collection, some of the stuff will be traded to other really serious collectors, and some of them will go to viewers like you who may be interested, all of which are good homes. All right, so we have three different packages. We're gonna start with this one right here. It feels like a coin album. It's a little light, so I'm guessing it is small-sized coins, hopefully silver, but let us take a gander. All right, interesting. I've never seen this kind of album before. Oh, hello. Wow, okay, that is really, really cool. Oh my God, there are tons of incredible notes. Okay, I already can tell this is gonna take way too long. So we are going to save this. We're gonna save the banknotes till a future video and we are going to crack into the coins. All right, let's see what we've got in here. This is really light. So I'm wondering if maybe this is some kind of like silver statue or something. Looks like there's a weird Tupperware little thing in here. Ooh, maybe this is like the gold coins. Okay, dun 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 dun. One envelope. Oh, foreign banknotes. Okay, we'll add these to the banknote video as well. Because I can tell that there are tons of coins in this bushel because this is where the bulk of the weight is. This thing is insanely heavy. All right, let's see what we've got. Oh man, I can hardly even open it. Okay. Oh, it very well wrapped. Ooh, which should we open first? All right, let's do this one first. Very cool, okay. I'm, I'm like really just so incredibly excited. I haven't done a big silver unboxing like this in a long time. And I just love, love, love opening up packages of coins. I mean, who doesn't, right? Oh, come on, you're really gonna do me like this? You're gonna get me all excited and have more bags and more bags and more bags? All right, all right, let's start out over here. Let's check it out. And maybe I'll even do like a running total down here. That's a good idea see what the value of this stuff is. Whoa! All right, the first item are these gigantic 1973 Simon Bolivar 20 Balboa coins. You can see here it says 925, so you can tell that that's what the purity is. Republica de Panama 20 Balboas. So this is interesting. Obviously these coins were not intended for circulation, um, but these are certainly Massive silver coins. Wow. Incredible. Let's see, are they all the same year? 73, 73, 73, 73. Wow, so we have four of these bad boys right here. That is absolutely incredible. Um, really cool. Definitely chunky, definitely valuable. I think these are worth about 100 bucks a piece. That is fantastic. We've got, ooh, a box. SF, is that like the San Francisco Mint? No, it is another one of, oh no, this is 1971. Is this another giant Balboa? It is. Wow, look at that. Also 925, of course. So these are sterling silver, Republica de Panama, 20 Balboas. That's another 100 bucks right there. Ooh wee, not bad at all. Now I just want to give you a sense of like the joy that I have right now just because this is like the ultimate grab bag of fun. I mean look at that, just tons and tons. Look at that, I can see the word Oro down there. So much cool stuff. I'm going to go at a little bit of a faster pace so that we can get through everything. Okay, this looks like a generic round. It is, it is just a generic one ounce. Buffalo, 999 fine silver. I'm going to have to do a little more research on that, make sure it's legit. Ooh, cool, 100 years of naval aviation. Five pounds, 2009, the Bailiwick of Guernsey, or Guernsey. Somebody's gotta tell me how to pronounce that. Put it down in the comments. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this is actually silver, because I know that they made a lot of these types of coins also in Cupro Nickel. I'm gonna have to do a little more research on that. Looks like we got a bunch of Eisenhower dollars here. These are all not silver, unfortunately. I guess Michael did not realize that. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, by the way, so I pay, in this case, I'm paying him 75% 
of the market value of all the coins here. So no, not the face value. I'm paying him 75% of the market value. I don't understand how some people in the comment section on previous videos, when I said I pay 75% of the value, thought that I was talking about face value, which would be absolutely insane and predatory. So no, I pay him 75% of the market value. Check this out. But of course, I'll just pay face value for the, for the $1 coins. One Silverado world trade unit. Uh, so this is, I think, from like the era where people were trying to make their own uh, silver currency that could be used for trade. This is pretty cool. I'll do a little more research. Anybody who knows anything about it, put it down in the comments below. I've got one, two, three, four. Ooh, this is a different one. Universe Sorrow from 1972. One silver world trade unit. Okay, yeah, so this is the same type of thing. And uh, I don't know if they're from the same company or not, but these are pretty cool. These probably have a little bit of a premium on them just because they are vintage like this. Vintage silver rounds that have some kind of uh, interesting story to them usually have a little bit of a premium. Very cool. Ooh, this is cool. So this is a Maria Theresa Thaler from Austria. And this one is dated probably 1780. That's right, 1780. Uh, basically everything after her death was dated at, at 1780. And this is definitely a restrike. I wanna make sure that this is actually authentic, but I believe it is, and I'm almost 100% sure that it is a restrike. They've been restriking these for literally like 200 years. Uh, they just keep making them and making them. So they're not really worth more than their silver weight, but still very, very cool. All right, a few more Eisenhower dollars. Uh, also not silver ones, but another couple bucks. I will certainly pay him out for those. Oh boy. Now that's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Oh, this is cool. What is this? Honest value never falls. 1973 USS Constitution. Constitution Mint, one troy ounce of silver. That is really cool. This is one of those vintage silver rounds. I bet this also has a little bit of a premium. We'll check that out, see any more. Ah, these are all more Silverados and Universados. Is that what it says, Universa Universaro? Silverados and Universaros. These are cool. Whether I decide to sell all, you know, sell these or not, I don't know, but I'm definitely holding on to one of each of these. That is really cool. All right, we're down to the last couple of coins in the bag. We have a 1963 Benjamin Franklin half. Don't know why it is special. It's certainly not in, uh, in MS condition or anything, but that's like eight bucks right there. And we've got over here a year 2000 colorized American Silver Eagle. I cannot stand how this looks. I absolutely love the American Silver Eagle, but the colorized one just looks awful, but hey, as I always say, silver, silver. And the last coin in the bag is a Kennedy. That is not a Kennedy half. Okay, that is not a Kennedy half. That is hilarious. Okay, we have a Donald Trump coin from 2017. It's got the mint mark of a T, which is hilarious. And it says 45th president of the United States, Donald Trump. This is definitely not silver. I can already just tell by the weight, but in any case, that's kind of funny. So uh, I don't know, what, what is this, what is, I see these on wish.com all the time for like a dollar. So I don't think I'm gonna be putting much value on that. Now I was just gonna give you a quick little review over what we got in that first of three bags. And I realized I skipped one coin. The 1976 Montreal Olympiad, $5. Got on the, on the little airtight, it says $7.50. Well, if you paid that, you certainly made money on this because it is a heck of a lot more. So check this out. I mean, we've probably got about $1,000 worth of silver here. That is freaking awesome. Great first start. Let's check out the next two bags. All right, bag number two of three. Let's see, is it double bag? Nope, this one is not double bag. Oh, look at that. I can already see a piece dollar, some halves, and a bunch of two by twos. What goodies are hiding here? All right, let's just get started. All right, we're gonna start with this roll of piece dollars. Now I can already tell that there are some random things mixed in here. So I'm going to go through it and tell you if we got anything particularly interesting. All right, we got a nice little grab bag even within this one tube. We got 14 different piece dollars with this 1925 being the only one in like really, really nice condition. 
Look at that. That is spectacular. And we got five different Morgan dollars. I have to check the dates. Nothing peeked out at me as a key date. But this common date, 1921, is really, really nice. Look at that. Wow. Really spectacular. I mean, this is like mint state right here. And then we have two non-American coins. We have a Canadian 1966 canoe dollar. I love these. This is really nice. I'll probably hold on to that just because I don't have too many. And we've got a Churchill crown from 1965. These are not silver, um, and I get these all the time. They are always in uh, kind of rough shape like this, but uh, still not a, bad, not a bad coin. I'm happy to get one of these Churchill dollars if it means that I get a tube of all this other awesome stuff. Let's keep going. Next up, we have a mix of different halves because we've got the walker on the front and we've got the Benji on the back. So let's take a look at what we've got over here. Benji, uh-oh, 1989, that ain't special. That's okay. Another Benji, ooh, that makes up for it, doesn't it? That makes up for that random clad half. Nice, look at that, that is a Colombian exposition dollar, the 1893 version, these came out in 1892 and 1893, the first ever commemorative half dollar from the United States. Really cool, another Benji. Another Benji. Forty percenter. All right, a Canadian half dollar from 1962. I don't know if I've ever gotten one of these before. I don't get too many Canadian halves. 64, we've got several of these. Nice. Another 40 percenter, and the rest are walkers. Now that was a sweet roll. Definitely the star of the bunch is that Colombian Exposition half dollar, but we've got a bunch of Benjis, a bunch of walkers, a couple of 40 percenters, a really nice set of Canadian halves, and this one clad 50 cent piece. And next up, last roll before we get to the two by twos, it looks like a roll of really nice Kennedys. Let's see. Wow, wow, nice. These are all BU, uncirculated 1964s. Definitely gonna be careful, don't wanna smudge these guys up. Wow, look at that. That is some nice shine right there. Look at that luster. They're a little banged up, but still, beautiful, beautiful luster. I'm gonna put these back in. We don't need to go through each and every one of these. Let's keep them in their pristine condition until I got some gloves on me. All right, you guys just gotta see this. Look at that. Look at that. All of that stuff to go through. Oh boy. All right, next up are these universal trade units. Another set of these universal trade units. These are a different design. I gotta figure out if these are all from the same mint or not. I would love it if somebody would help me out in the comments below. Who knows, it might even say it on there. These are from 1974. And these look like they are all the same. We gotta get them out of these PVC containers anyway. Wow, that is super, super nice. International, one troy ounce, universal trade unit. Very cool. And remember to always get rid of your PVC holders. All right, time for the two by twos and we've got a whole mess of them. So I'm just gonna go through them sort of rapid fire and I'm only gonna stop at the interesting ones. Man, imagine if you could still get these silver quarters for a buck, hooey! 1888 Morgan silver dollar, $4.50. Man, now that is a trip down memory lane. Certainly a memory that I don't personally have. Wow, this is cool. Now this is really, really awesome. Look at that, this is a Panamanian Balboa, just like those giant ones that we had. We had those giant Panamanian Balboas, but this one is sort of the normal sized version. You can see here, 
One of the cool things about these Balboas is they actually have the purity and weight on them. This is 90% silver and it weighs 26.73 grams. How cool is that? 1947. That is awesome. This is my favorite one in the batch so far. All right, another Morgan Silver Dollar. Not in bad shape either. That's pretty sweet, 1961 silver proof. Look at that shine. Sorry, I just gotta look at these prices again. 525 for a Morgan Silver Dollar, geez Louise. Oh, hey yo, 1878 Carson City. Let's make sure that that's legit. Let's make sure that that's legit. 1878, oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, Carson City. Oh baby, that is some money right there. That is some money. All right, we're gonna examine that more. $16 back in the day, holy cow. Times have changed. This is the 1945S Micro S variety. I'm not familiar with that variety, but this is in excellent shape, so I'm going to have to do some research. Nice, we hit gold, baby, we hit gold. This is a Mexican one peso gold coin. That is awesome. And by one peso, clearly I meant two pesos. That's awesome. Never had one of these before. I've seen them all over though. Gonna hold on to that. Ooh, more gold, more gold, look at that. Last two coins were gold, that is awesome. Whoa, okay, this is super cool. Look at that. Not just the coin, gold token, $1.50, Sears Coin Shop. Wow, coin collecting was once so popular that Sears, which for those of you youngsters out there don't know, that was once a very, very popular store. It was like the place to go for everything. Wow, look at that. I need you guys to give me some more context on these coins. Anybody who's an expert on California gold tokens, please put it down in the comments below what you know about these. Uh, I know that these were heavily counterfeited over the years, but I'm guessing that because it's sealed in this Sears coin shop two by two that it's probably legit. Uh, please give me your insight if you have any. Uh, there's another one right here as well, and it is the alternate version. This one is the uh, octagonal version. Wow, awesome. I need to do more research on that for sure. Wow, that was awesome. So check out all we got over here, including that 1878 Carson City. If you wanna see these more in depth, please make sure to follow my Instagram. I am going to be posting up close pictures of these on my Instagram. And if you're interested in purchasing any of these, the best way to do it is through my Instagram. So if you're not following me there, you gotta follow me there. Man, that was awesome. All right, now the last bag of coins feels like a sleeve of saltine crackers. So I'm assuming it is all two by twos, a very heavy bag of saltine crackers. And it does indeed look that way. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I will save this till next week. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna do you like that. I'm already saving the banknotes till next week. So I am going to show you all the coins. Let's check them out. All right, starting us off, an 1887 O for $6.25. Man, he's gonna make a lot of money on these. Ooh, nice, an 1878 with eight tail feathers. I'm going to have to investigate that further and figure out the value, but that is pretty sweet. Man, so many Morgans. I mean, I cannot imagine what this guy is thinking right now, how much he's gonna get for these from me when he paid $4.50 back in the day. Holy moly. Now this Barber Dime itself isn't particularly interesting, but I have never seen sort of like a scalloped edge around the middle of a 2x2 two two like that. Looks almost homemade because it's off-center and uneven.
That's got some nice toning on it right there. Now this is cool, because this is just a piece of coin collecting history. This is not only an interestingly colored uh, two by two, and not only an interesting coin, because it's a Fiji three pence from 1964, but the labels were printed on a typewriter. How cool is that? This is just a classic, classic piece of numismatic history right here. Not the coin itself, but this exact two by two. I'm definitely gonna keep it in this two by two. Well, it might have been XF when this was put in this holder, but it ain't XF anymore. Whoa, this is nice. Look at this, an 1830 half dollar. That is spectacular. It is definitely, definitely in worn shape. It is not in great condition. The one in my typeset's in much better shape, but still, anything of this era is so cool to get. I am so happy with this. I love this. I might just hold on to this even though I already have one. Man, this barber half's actually in pretty nice shape. I mean, they're usually not in this good shape when I get them. You can see the rest of the ones in this video were not in great shape. Pretty cool. This one's not in bad shape either. Really not bad. Told you I love me these canoe dollars. These are awesome. Canada did some coins right, they sure did. Oh, hey, what do you know? A three cent silver, that is awesome. 1852, this is an amazing type coin, US type coin. I have one of these in my type set. I think mine's in better shape than this, so I'm not gonna swap it out, but that is a sweet coin. I'm definitely gonna trade this away. Oh, nice. Look at that. An 1891 Seated Liberty with the legend. Sweet. And last but not least, a 1907 Barber Half, also not in bad shape. Check that out. Really not bad at all. That was sweet. Feast your eyes upon all this glory. Look at this, I am speechless. Oh my lord, look how much awesome stuff there is. I mean, I'm doing this video sort of in real time, so I don't even know what this ticker says, but I'm guessing that it's approaching like $4,000. I mean, this is incredible. This is pounds and pounds and pounds of silver. I mean, these enormous, enormous Balboas are incredible. The gold coins, the Carson City, Morgan silver dollar, all these really, really cool privately minted silver rounds. We've got tons of type coins and random coins, all sorts of cool stuff. I've gotta imagine that Michael's father was either originally from Canada or lived near the Canadian and American border because this is just such an interesting split between American and Canadian coins. I mean, look at this. Please, in the comments below, let me know what your favorite coin is and again, a lot of this stuff I'm keeping for my own stack, for my own personal collection. Some of it's gonna go out to my Patreon patrons, but if you're interested in purchasing any of this or trading for any of this, the best place to contact me is through my Instagram. If you're not following me there yet, you are missing out. I'm gonna be posting awesome pictures of these coins as well there, and you'll get a more in-depth view. Wow.
Wow, 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 wow. Did you not see that? That was insane. That was one of the best silver purchases I have ever made. And we're not even done with the video. We are going to next week take a closer look at all of those incredible banknotes, both in the album and in that weird Tupperware thing. But we are going to do an in-depth look at that because that is a collection in and of itself. Michael, thank you so much for the opportunity to purchase these. I'm so glad that I was able to help you out and get you the money that you need. And now I have this incredible collection of silver, some of which I will put to my own personal collection and stack, some of which will end up in grab bags for my Patreon grab bag exchanges. So if you're interested in becoming a patron, now is the time. Check out the link below. And of course, I will be selling some of it. So if you're interested, let me know. In any case, I can't wait till the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you do, big thumbs up, please, and hit the subscribe button. I will see you all next week. So stay tuned, and until then, Silver Picker out. A huge, huge thank you to all of my wonderful patrons. You guys are amazing. Thank you so, so much. And an extra special shout out to my two newest gold patrons, Alexis Morales and Ian Treffrey. Ian, thank you so much for upgrading from silver. And I'll see you both and all the other patrons in the Discord.